So today's video, it's not going to be necessarily a repair video or a review video, but it might be an improvement video. So here we have a quick 957DW. This came from a local computer repair shop, uh, courtesy of Brian Swanson. So thanks for bringing this by. Um, so the complaint is it works fine. It works except for it just never really seems to get hot enough. And it sounds like it has to be cranked and maxed to get anything done. Looking at the back side here for the power consumption, I see it's listed at 580 watts. It is a correct voltage, 110 volt, but only 580 watts, which is a little on the low side. So let's just kind of confirm that. I've got the tip removed. I got uh, everything on max, the fan speed on max, temperature on max. I'm just going to turn it on. So it should hit 450. So with the tip removed, it's going to have maximum airflow. So it's kind of the worst case scenario that we're simulating right now. And it is kind of taking a while to get there. I'm just going to let it run for a minute. You can see the decimal point here shows when the heater's on. And it's on full. 100% right now it's not uh, flickering yet. And yes, it's definitely struggling to get to that 450. Barely reaching 400. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely underpowered. Yeah, it still hasn't even hit its, its 450 yet. It's struggling to reach its own maximum temperature setting. I'll let it run for another minute. Okay, this thing, yeah, it's 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 struggling, um, which is kind of unfortunate. It's a nicely built unit, feels good, looks good. Um, let's check the wad, the actual wattage consumption. We know it's supposed to be 580. Let's see if it's actually hitting 580. Okay, I've got it running through the kilowatt now, set to wattage, so this will tell us the actual power consumption. And dials are still on maximum. So we're topped out at uh, just under 460 watts. Um, so we're over 100 watts under what it's supposed to be. Remember, it's supposed to be 580, and we're only at 450. And by watching the decimal point here, you can see the heating element is at full power. And again, it's struggling to reach that 450. So at maximum power consumption, we're pretty much 450. So that explains why this thing is just not quite getting hot enough. Okay, so we just time traveled a couple weeks into the future. I ordered up a new heating element. It's labeled as a type C, which has the uh, quick style connectors on it, and it's the right size. It's kind of small in diameter, so you got to make sure you order the right one. I got it from this seller here, Elroy 8168. And here it has arrived, and it's only it's only 10 bucks, so you know this if this works, it's uh, definitely worth it. So, we'll have to hope that the new heating element is a higher wattage. There is less, less turns in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like there's, um, like maybe this is heavier, less windings. This looks like it's tighter in windings. So, which would mean a shorter wire would pull more power. So, hopefully, we're doing the right thing here. And the connectors look good. I think everything is compatible. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the new heating element in. The replacement heating element plugged right in. It was a piece of cake. Um, so, let's see how much power we're pulling now. Both fan and temp are maxed out. Oh, yeah, we're already, uh, already hit five. Okay, 550, 580 much better and we're already into the 400s 
yeah, we're sitting at about 500 and what, 30-ish, I think it's at for a minute, which is much closer to what this thing is actually supposed to do. But look at that, we're actually hitting the maximum temperature and it's holding. Definitely improvement, that's exactly what this thing needed. Before I go any further, so do a modification like this at your own risk. Because if the triac were to fail, they usually fail in a closed position, which would mean the heating element would be sitting at 100%, which mean your house would just burn down. But the triac it used is a BTA16600, so it's a 600 volt, 16 amp triac, which, I don't know, in my opinion, 16 amps is I mean more than the outlet is uh, is uh, breaker value is at anyway. So I don't see a you know six seven hundred watt heating element uh, taking out a triac of that size, but you never know. So again, you know, do this at your own risk. So let's actually use this thing, huh? I'll just pull one of these eight pin chips here. Probably don't need the air maxed out or the temp. Let's see if I can get a shot of the controls there. I'll just pull a little SOP8. Oh yeah, it's already already off. Man. Piece of cake. Man, that fan really is I'm gonna turn that blower down even more before I blow the parts off. Yeah, it's even that's still too high. You know, this is a, I think this should be a capable little machine now that it actually has the wattage to back it up. Yeah, I'm trying to put this back on with the, my camera in the way, so it's kind of an awkward angle for me, but anyways, it works, and it works pretty damn good now. I think this will be a nice little hot air station for someone. Feels good, looks good, works good now, so that's, uh, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching.